They are young people, children really, who, through no fault of their own, are living in an unstable or even dangerous situation. I don't know where this road is going I don't know when I will arrive I don't know why it's taken so long I'm just trying to learn to drive uh, during that time, I was living with my uncle, and I was paying him rent. So since I got fired, he kicked me out because I couldn't pay rent anymore. And my mom and me weren't on good terms, so she didn't let me go back home, so I had nowhere to stay. I'm just trying to believe. When you were at your, at your saddest, what was it like inside of you? <laughs> Um, it was horrible, <laughs> like, I felt like I had no one, no one at all. Just, I don't know, I just, just like, why me, like, will it make a difference if I, if I'm here? Like, should I just, I don't know, I don't know if I felt suicidal. Not having a major support group to help me get through stuff like that, you know, it's created a major callus in my heart, you know, but at the same time, it's, it's helped me grow. Things that are going to be hard in the future will not be as hard because I've had to deal with a lot of things now. I don't know when I'll find the answers. I'm just trying to believe. What do people need to understand about kids like you who are in your similar situation? unstable family and then you're you're trying to figure things out and you're trying to make it work what, what do they have to understand um i would say just that things aren't as they appear you know because i think a lot of people are become very good at acting like they're okay but they're not yet even with all the turmoil and chaos in their lives they remain determined to graduate from high school um, I just want to be successful. I noticed that none of my family members have done much with their lives. Um, I'm going to be a first generation to go to university, first generation to make over $30,000 at the end of a year, um, first generation to live in a house. Today, Youth on Their Own has grown to support hundreds of homeless and unaccompanied youth every year. Our kids come from nearly every high school and many middle schools in the metro Tucson area. Youth on Their Own's core service is the monthly stipend program that serves as an incentive for school performance and attendance, and it takes the edge off their poverty. School counselors tell us all the time, Youth on Their Own is helping to save one kid at a time. The thing that, that I see is every year I have about uh, between 10 and 20 kids that I can look at and I can really wonder if they ever would have graduated had it not been for youth on their own. But you know, I always go to the graduations and so I'll watch them walking across the stage and, and, and you know, there's always a little bit of a tear in my eye and I think you know, how far they've come and how amazing it is that they're graduating. Well, investing in your future is never a bad idea. Marion Conrad Lalonde is the president of the Youth on Their Own Board of Directors. She's also an attorney for one of the city's highly respected law firms and is active as an advocate for homeless kids. You know, I'm, I'm in a position now where I can really make a difference in my world. A successful young woman, but at 15, she too fled a violent home that almost cost her her life. Things really got bad when I was 14 and my sister stabbed me in the head with a pair of scissors. You know, youth on their own found me. I wasn't looking for them. And I, you know, again, I was a tough teenager, you know, and I don't need anybody's help, I can do it on my own. But she learned she couldn't do it on her own. It, it really changed my life. To have a, a cheering section, to have people who I knew were on my side. It's just people who were there who said, Marion, you know, we believe in you. Youth on their own will continue to believe in young people who, in the face of so much chaos, remain determined to stay in school.
What's the message you would like to send out to all those donors who you'll never meet and they'll never meet you, but they still care? What's the message? Um, just thank you. You know, the, the help that it provides for so many people. Like I saw people leaving with bags of food and this might be their only way to get food. So it's just so great that people are so caring and that among all the people who are so selfish and only think about themselves and what they want, there are still those people who want to help. Seeing that there's a, a mass group of people that want to help, um, that's what I've taken. Like, I know that there's hope and I know that there's good people out there. When I come to Youth on Their Own, the staff and people here, they're really kind and they make me feel happy knowing that there are people out there who care about us like they are family, even though they're not. You know, there's a lot of homeless students. Um, that want to keep going to school and want to finish school. So it means a lot just being able to come here and be able to say, hey, Daniela, how are you? You know, it's just a great feeling inside. And like before I was junior, I was a the average student. Like, <laughs> I had like a 1.5 GPA where then after I joined, everything just, just turned. <laughs> then now I like, I almost got straight A's to the last report card. I only had two B's. As a community, we need to show them that we believe in them so that they can believe in themselves. So if it seems like I don't know where I'm going, I'm just trying to believe.